All right, this is tutorial two for our F1 car. You should have your file saved on your U drive or a flash drive so that if uh, you need to work on this car on a different computer, you can go ahead and do that. We are going to create an axle uh, position and then put in two wheel weld holes. First of all, let's start by clicking on this top face and then opening a sketch. Change to a wireframe view and fit the screen. And we want to create a line from approximately here to approximately here. Do not constrain it to anything. With that line selected, our sketch tools dialog or toolbar should be open. If it's not, you go to view toolbars and open it. View toolbars and then make sure that sketch tools is checked off. With this horizontal line highlighted, we want to change it to construction geometry. Now we want to choose the endpoints of this line by control picking them and turning our construction geometry off. When we go to different modes now, or different workbenches, these two endpoints will be visible, where the line will not be visible, which is what we want. All right, a couple of dimensional constraints. So uh, 10 millimeters for this one. We want between the end point of the line and this vertical line, 30 millimeters. 32, 30. And then the value of the line needs to be 130. Oops, didn't change it there. Didn't change it there either. Here we go. Ooh. All right, so 130. So now with these dimensions on here, if we want to change the position of the wheels at any time, we can simply by coming back to this sketch and changing the values of these numbers. Pretty cool. So let's exit this workbench, and we're going to create a hole. So on the workbench, we find the hole icon, choose the top face where the hole will start, and place in 43 for the diameter and 23, 23 for the depth. Position the sketch and control pick the hole position and the axle support position and create a coincident geometric constraint. Exit the workbench and OK. So we've created this back void here, this hole. You can do the exact same thing with the hole tool again. The values are saved from last time. Control, select, you know, big fingers, I pressed the wrong button. We want to do a control select those two points and make a geometric constraint of coincident between them. Exit the workbench and OK. Now this has created the two wheel weld holes. If at any time, as I said, we want to change the position of those holes, we can just go to this sketch and change the position. So if you want them really close together, we can do that, change it to 90. Our geometry is red, so we need to have an update. After we update it, it's changed. But we don't want it that close. We want it back at 130. 130. Exit the workbench. Update our geometry. And that is the end of this tutorial.